Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. I'm back with another video. Today I'm preparing roasted Cornish hens. I'm starting with my sliced lemons, onions, chopped carrots, and red potatoes. My dry seasonings that I'm gonna use are oregano, chili powder, parsley, rosemary, thyme, garlic powder, black pepper, Montreal chicken, accent, and paprika. Combine all these dry ingredients in a separate bowl and place it to the side until we're ready to season our Cornish hens. My hens have been thoroughly cleaned and now I'm going to take this paper towel and pat the hen dry to remove all that moisture. In my family, the only time we ate Cornish hens was around Thanksgiving. If nobody wanted to prepare a turkey, the easiest thing to do was to bake a Cornish hen. Now that the hens are dry, you want to pour one tablespoon of vegetable oil on each hen. Then you want to spread that oil out evenly throughout the hen. You want to make sure that every piece of the hen is covered in oil. <laughs> Take your time. This shouldn't be a fast process. I'm only using one glove because I don't want to contaminate my other glove when I go and grab my seasonings. Make sure that every part of this hen has been covered in vegetable oil. Then place seasonings all over the outside of the hen, even on the inside of the cavity. In my pan, I'm going to pour in one tablespoon of vegetable oil. I'm going to make sure the inside of my pan is covered with this oil to prevent my meat from sticking to the bottom of the pan. Now I'm going to transfer my hands to a roasting pan. You don't want a dry hen. You want to make sure your hen has lots of flavor. Because if not, then that's time wasted preparing and cooking him.
add your hands to the pan and continue seasoning. You want to go ahead and flip your hands over and on the opposite side you want to make sure that you get all the seasonings in the chicken. You want to continue seasoning until all your dry seasoning is gone. At this time, you want to go ahead and preheat your oven on 400 degrees Fahrenheit because once I finish seasoning this baby, I'm going to go ahead and throw him in the oven. Squeeze one lemon over the top of your hands to add that lemony flavor to the rest of your dry spices. Around the hand, you want to add your lemon slices, your onions, your chopped carrots and potatoes. In the cavity, you want to add in lemons and onions so you can get those flavors inside the hand. I'm going to roast these hands in the oven uncovered for about an hour and 30 minutes. When it reaches the 40 minute mark, you want to flip your hand over and then cook it on its opposite side. Roast your meat until the juice is clear and the hand is golden brown. If you have a thermometer, you want to test the breast of the hand to make sure it registers at 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Sprinkle some extra parsley on the hand for presentation. Parsley makes everything look beautiful. Now let's put these hands in our oven. This is what your hand should look like when it's done. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and share my channel with everybody in your contacts. Bye.